Here are three reasons why I like the Sony ZV-E10 as an amateur or a beginner photographer. First of all, Sony has a great product line, incredible, and the Sony ZV-E10, while being a nice entry level, small form factor, mirrorless camera, it can use the full line of Sony lenses for the APS-C format, the E-mount specifically, and any of the third-party lenses like this Tamron that I have here, uh, any third-party lenses will work with it as well. So if you are planning to continue your photography or videography career, you can invest in some nice lenses that will work with this thing. And then as you grow to bigger and better products, larger camera bodies or what have you, you can continue to use the same lenses. Second, the small form factor that I already mentioned means that you could stick it in places like your purse or a sling bag and with a smaller lens, of course, you will not be as noticeable as if you were carrying around a larger DSLR camera, like a big old honker Sony a7 III or a big Canon camera or what have you. Very small and with the right lens, you can get it in places that people wouldn't notice and you're not as obvious when you're trying to take pictures like on the street or wherever, right? Not that I would ever condone trespassing or taking pictures where people uh, shouldn't be taking pictures. And then finally, number three, the pictures in the video that this thing takes, well, there are better products for specific circumstances. This thing will hang with the big boys with cameras that are $3,000. The average person will have a hard time discerning between pictures and videos from this camera and pictures and videos from a $3,000 camera. The technology has come so far and this thing can carry its weight in vlogging, in live streaming, in YouTube videos, in street photography, landscape photography, real estate photography, this thing can do it all. There are plenty of how-to guides out there, plenty of lens options considering that this is a Sony and it has access to all those lenses from before and after. All you need to do is choose a niche and run with it. This camera will be able to handle it.